Hi. The plug-in physics animation allows to create animations that are more realistic and natural with movements that are based on the physical properties of the objects being animated. With this plugin, you can create animations that simulate the movement of objects in space, the effects of gravity, and the way that objects interact with each other. You can adjust parameters like gravity, friction, elasticity, and many more to achieve the desired effect. Let's create several different shapes on a frame. To make it clear, let's color them with different colors. Select all the shapes and apply the outline stroke property to them. Select the frame and open the physics animation plugin. We can see how our shapes start to fall. The animation is being calculated in the emulator window. To stop the calculation, click on the show result button. The finished animation will last exactly as long as the animation calculation took. In the emulator window, we can see the finished animation result. We can loop the finished animation, or play it backwards, or add the boomerang effect. Let's create a composition of different shapes. If we want our shapes to fall outside the screen, we need to position the shape so that at least its tip touches the frame boundaries. Otherwise, all shapes outside the frame will disappear. Once again, note that the shape boundaries extend to the frame boundaries. Select the frame and open the physics animation plugin. The shapes start to fall outside the frame. The shapes that do not touch the frame boundaries are not displayed. If we want the shapes to fall sequentially, there are two methods to achieve this. Click on the layer settings. In the delay window, we can manually set the time after which the layer will be animated. For example, this shape will start falling after 500 milliseconds the next one after 1,000 milliseconds, the third one after 1,500 milliseconds, and so on. We can see how the shapes start to fall one after another, but if there are many shapes, it is very difficult to set a delay for each one, so the plugin allows you to set a delay range for a group of layers. In Figma, select all the shapes and group them. In the plugin, a button appears in the settings of the group layer. In this window, we can set a delay range for all layers inside the group, for example, from 500 to 5000, and turn off the random toggle. Layers inside the group are assigned a delay according to the specified range. Each layer has a set of settings. You can learn more about each setting by using the tooltip. Let's add the elasticity parameter our shapes have become elastic. They started bouncing like a spring. Let's take a few colored circles. Apply the outline stroke to them. The plugin works faster with this property. Give them a stroke. Select the frame and open the Spoosh Poisson plugin. Set the min distance value to 30. Create. The plugin will create a random number of shapes. Select all the shapes. Align them horizontally. Remove unnecessary shapes from the edges. And rotate all the shapes by 45 degrees. Group them. Place them outside the screen so that the tip touches the edge of the frame and group all the shapes together. Add another element to the layout. Let it be the letter A. Apply the outline stroke property to it and rotate it slightly for aesthetics. Open the plugin. Set the lock property for the letter. Now the letter is locked, but other shapes interact with it and the balls collide with the boundaries of the letter. Set a delay of 100 to 5,000 for the group with the balls. The balls start falling one after another. Increase the elasticity value and we get this cool effect. If we want the letter to remain in place and not interact with other objects, we can set the opacity property for it. Then the shape is displayed, but no physical properties are applied to it, and other shapes do not interact with it. Let's talk about frame boundaries. By default, the top boundary is enabled. Let's enable the top boundary and disable the bottom one. The shapes will fall beyond the frame. There are also options to control gravity. 
During the animation calculation, we can change the gravity. For example, we can set the gravity to the right or left, and again to the bottom. Disable gravity and remove the lock property from the letter. During the animation calculation, we can interact with any shapes. We can drag and push them, but this only works during the animation calculation. To combine multiple layers together, create a group from the layers you want to combine. Open the plugin. Add the grouping property. The layers are now merged together. This also works if two layers are stacked on top of each other. They can be grouped into one group, and they will be treated as a single entity. When you add shapes to a frame, they are automatically grouped. Add the soft body property to this group. We have connected each shape to each other with a spring, making the shape elastic. Let's consider another example. Write some text. Add the outline stroke property to the text. Open the plugin. Add the soft body property. Apply the lock property to the first and last letter. Set the sedative toggle in the settings. This creates the effect of a soft mattress. Let's go over some features of working with text. If we open lowercase text in the plugin, the plugin treats it as a single element. Add some more lowercase text. Apply the outline stroke property to both the heading and the lowercase text. Now, in the plugin, each letter is treated as a separate shape. Remove gravity, add a bomb, and increase its force. You can increase the bomb force. You can move the bomb anywhere you want. The plugin has a magnet effect. Let's see how it works. Set up the scene in advance. Turn off gravity. Turn off all frame borders. Add the magnet. Increase its force. Set the time dumping to zero. Move it to the center. Shapes are attracted to the location where the magnet is placed and gain momentum. To make shapes be attracted to one location, let's apply the lock property to one of the shapes and place the magnet on it. Now, the other shapes are attracted to it. You can see more plugin usage options in the library section. You can download and use these layouts with pre-configured animations in your projects if you have a pro account. What to do when an object behaves strangely? It seems to fall, but falls beyond the boundaries. Try applying the flatten property. Now the objects are perceived normally. Let's discuss some peculiarities of the plugin. The size of the frame affects the final result. The larger the frame size, the more accurately the shape boundaries are determined. The higher the values need to be set for the effect. Export format. SVG. This is an SVG file with animation defined in it. You can open such animation in a browser. You can easily pass the animation to a developer, add it to a website, or upload it to platforms like Webflow. If there are only a few objects, this type of animation will have a small file size, typically just a few kilobytes. As a result, it will load quickly for users, even with poor internet conditions. SVG scales without loss of quality. If you intend to export an SVG with a complex animation consisting of more than 3,000 shapes, it is important to consider how it will be displayed on low-performance computers. GIF format. Standard format that can be added to Figma prototype. WebM video format, which can also be added to Figma prototype in a pro account. If you need the MP4 format, there are many converters from WebM to MP4. For GIF and WebM export formats, you can set the frame rate. WebM can be exported at 240 frames and add a slow motion effect. To avoid artifacts, always export WebM and GIF with a background. Hope you had a great time exploring features such as text manipulation, soft bodies, magnets, and more. This plugin, Physics Animation, 
allows you to create interactive animations by applying physical properties to shapes and objects in Figma. By mastering the settings and options, you can achieve stunning animations that can be exported in formats like SVG, GIF, and WebM. Please like this video if it was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about engaging animations.